Albert Einstein, the solitary genius, and a regret under the name of Atomic Bomb. Albert Einstein had always been a rebel since it was a rookie teenager who single-handedly opposed to the on-faction theories in modern physics. That teenager would eventually become one of the greatest scientists of all time. However, even when he's at the peak of his career, Einstein still found himself a lonely person. He set himself apart from other colleague scientists and even his fellow countrymen. It was as if Einstein didn't belong to this world. The Late Bloomer Albert Einstein was born on the 14th of March in Ulm, a city in Württemberg, Germany. He was the first son of a Jewish family who settled there for a long time. When he was a little boy, Einstein has some characteristic features unlike any ordinal voice. Ironically, they were now the traits of a genius, but rather the opposite. At the age of three to nine, Einstein couldn't speak properly. Furthermore, he seemed to enjoy just being old by himself. One of the events that would have a long term effects on Einstein's life was when his father gave him a compass. The needle on the compass wouldn't change its direction despite the commas shrieked opposition. That left Einstein with a strong impression which made him feel as if he discovered the mystery of creation. Another significant event that would impact Einstein's life was when he was 12, he received a book on Euclid geometry by Max Talmud and was very impressed with the accuracy and clarity of the laws of geometry. Einstein recognized it as a milestone of human intelligence. Fighting his way. Einstein was born one century after the event of German Empire reunification, 1871. The country was on his way to becoming the top industry country in Europe. While Germany was a promised land back, then Einstein with the characteristics of a rebel left at the age of 15 because he couldn't stand putting himself under fixed otters. Einstein was born to be a free man. He accepted to pay every prize to leave a life of free thinking. He was not a product of any excellent training school for any Faust educational system. He thought out of the box driven by his brilliant mind and curiosity about nature. Leaving Germany, Einstein enjoyed his freedom and started his scientific research in Milan. His first goal was to enroll in the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, ETH Zurich. Since DISCO didn't require any bachelor's degree, but only an entrance exam. Unfortunately, he fell to enter an examination forcing him to move to Aro, a small town in Zurich. He spent a year studying stocks to degree there. After a year of learning in Aro, Einstein was accepted in ETH Zurich without taking any IV exams. In the fall of 1900, he graduated from university. This time was however the most challenging time for Einstein. Because he was dead and out of work scientist to live by the days. He had to wander from place to place seeking for a job. The great turn of the event came to Einstein in 1901 when he was introduced by a close friend's family and was admitted into the Swiss Federal Patent Copyright Office as a technical specialist. During his time working there, he often carried out different scientific experiment. In his free time during work time in secret in his office. Throughout five years from 1901 to 1905, he had successfully developed the law of relativity between time and space. Dawn of a New Age The year 1905, or Ounce's miraculous year thanks to his wonderful and contributions of science. In that year, Albert Einstein published five articles in German Yearbook of Physics. That shocked the physics community and drastically altered our view of the universe. For more instance, the five articles rapidly led to two major work mill revolutions during the 20th century. 
the first revolution risk on relativity and the second one whisk on quantum theory. In special relativity, Einstein reshaped on no definition of time, space, and energy, which also means completely changing the structure of Newton's classic physics. A few months after publishing the article of relativity, he came up with yet another significant discovery. Mass and energy are own but one. He later wrote his toss to one of his friends when he came up with his new conclusion. I wonder if God would laugh at me or make fun of me, I couldn't know. God didn't make fun of him. He saw the secret of God. It was the famous equation, E equals mc square energy equals mass multiplied by the square speed of light. In general relativity theory, also known as gravitational field theory, Einstein has enlightened humankind about the mysteries of time and space, about the relation between energy and mass. From 1905 onward humanity has witnessed the new future of science, a new dawn that is pricier than ever before. Respected by the whole world. In May 1909, Einstein resigned from the Sweet Federal Patent Copyright Office to work as a professor at Zurich University, even though being a higher social status after his success. Einstein stayed a single man as he always had been. He was jolly said in my relativity, I put clocks everywhere in the universe, but in fact, I don't even have enough money to buy a single clock to put in my room. At the beginning of 1914, Einstein was then only 35 years old, became the youngest member of Prussian Academy. He was welcomed with kissed and particular policies, which was completely unimaginable. It was not only because of his talents in science, but Prussia also wanted to prove to the world that Einstein's presence in Berlin was an implication of Prussia's supremacy in science. However, it was only a few months after Einstein moved to Berlin that a great war broke out. He was one of the very few scientists who dared to stand up for peace and freedom. He was also one of the first scientists to denounce the Nazi regime. After Hitler came to power in Germany in 1933, during his time in Berlin, he continued to study general relativity and applying it to Newton's law of gravity. In 1915, he finished this enormous project, and one year later it was published Physics Yearbook magazine. In August 1917, he reported to the Prussian Academy about his next important research project about the universe. It was a project of the century for modern astronomy, built on the foundation of general relativity. The equations taken from general relativity his fate the wrote for a new rapidly developing stage of astronomy and throw new light on the fate of the universe. The Dark Period And though the history of science was in its glory word, peace was on a venge of falling apart. At the beginning of 1920, Germany was covered in a dark cloud when the fascist officially and systematically propagandized again Einstein. On June 26, German Secretary of State, was there is now a Jewish German, and a close friend of Einstein, was assassinated by the far, right force. This sick note Einstein, the possible threat that he was facing. Einstein was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1910, when he was 31 years old, just five years after the miraculous year, but it was not until 1921 Einstein's won a Nobel Prize, officially unfortunately under the pressure of the opposing press. The Nobel Committee in Oslo only recognized and awarded his work on photoelectric effect, not relativity. On January 30, 1933, Hitler came to power and removed on civil rights at the beginning of March before getting off the plan from the United States returning to Europe. Einstein and now his decision of not returning to Germany, his choice man, that German science had lost its leader. The God and era of German silence brutally. 
continue seeking the truth. Einstein had lived 19 years in Germany and spent the rest of his life in Princeton, United States. The last stop in his journey, studying the grand unification theory. He hoped to find a final answer to quantum mechanics developed by young physicists such as Born hasn't burned Born. In 1926 to 1927, that he considered incomplete. In 1935, Einstein's criticism against quantum mechanics reached his climate, which were sung in the article of his, and the two young colleagues, Boris Podolsky and Nathan Rosen, can a description of real physics be considered sufficient, with the help of quantum mechanics. This work was also known as APR Paradox. His point was to prove that describing physics using quantum mechanics was insufficient. However, EPR was soon forgotten by physicists. It was only considered an experimental idea of answers against quantum mechanics. It was not until 30 years later. In 1964, nine years after Einstein's death, a jumble would continue Einstein's unfinished work. From a paradox, EPR has become an effect thanks to this effect people started to understand quantum theory at creative depth. It was the EPR effect together with Bell's theorem that caused the second revolution in quantum physics around the world. The regret under the name of atomic bomb. In Princeton, Einstein had never stopped fighting for the workpiece in 1938, a German physicist, Otto Hahn, discovered that atoms could be divided into smaller particles. This dividing process releases an enormous amount of energy that can be calculated using the formula E equals mc2 where. When the news reached the United States, American scientists feared that Germany would develop an atomic bomb beforehand. On August 2, 1939, Einstein sent a letter to President Roosevelt warning that Germany may have been developing an atomic bomb and suggesting that the U.S. government should consider doing something similar. Immediately Project Manhattan was launched with a fund of $2 billion and 130,000 participants. He shared, I'm aware of the great threat to humankind in the event of successfully researching an atomic bomb, which led me to this decision, killing in wars among opinion, is not any different from normal killing. Later when the U.S. dropped two nuclear bombs in Japan in August 1945, Einstein weep ratted and said, If I had known that the German couldn't produce atomic bombs, I wouldn't lift a finger. The Lonesome Traveler During his last years in Princeton, Einstein witnessed on American soul the scenes that forced him to leave Germany. Militarism armed raised McCarthyism trekking and oppressing innovators restricting human freedom. Einstein was used to living a lonely life. No matter where he lived, his whistling crack, the league or president, he was always under the impression that he was an outsider. Apart from the loneliness caused by science, Einstein also carried the sorrow of a person that never wholly belonged to this world. He was a lonesome traveler on the road of seeking the truth, and eventually that road could carry him to an unknown Harrison, where he would be again owned by himself. Albert Einstein passed away on April 18, 1955. Before his death, Einstein wrote in his will, that he would like to donate his brain to anthropologists for research purposes. Fifty years after Einstein's death, and one hundred years after his very first theories were published, scientists still find a lot of applications using the genius ideas. His theories were applied to computers more than medical devices, manufacturing submarines, and space exploration. It's impossible to imagine a world without Einstein. Until recent days, people still cannot explain the extraordinary ability of one genius with a mind that is greater than those of thousands of excellent scientists combined.
In his life, Einstein only had one failure that he could not finish what he called the theory of everything combining relativity and quantum physics. The scientist struggled with that work through his last 30 years. He continued to look for the answer, even when death was near. In his deathbed, Einstein said, Auto physicist, may call me a stupid old man, but I know that a future of physics will develop in a different way. Trouble Marriages This by professional success, Einstein's private life was nothing but a nuisance. In his life, he had two wives. The first one was Maleva Marek, a Serbian woman who was four years older than him. According to their sons and relatives, it was Maleva who supported and played an essential role in helping Einstein discover and relativity. When Einstein took further steps in his career, his marriage started to fall apart. In 1911, Einstein was still regularly than his wife loving postcards. But just a year later, he began having an affair with his distant cousin named Elsa Lowenthal. During that time, Einstein went to many places, and then ended up in Berlin, to be close to his mother. After several years of withstanding, Maleva decided to bring that German back to Switzerland in 1914. In 1919, she agreed to sign a divorce under one condition, that in the event of Einstein's receiving the Nobel Prize, she's the one to receive the money reward. Of course, their divorce had a significant impact on their two sons, back to Anson's. In 1919, he married his cousin Elsa and lived with her until she passed away in 1936. There are many things the word today has to carry on as a tribute to a famous scientist. With only a straightforward equation, he had to manate to conquer the whole universe. Albert Einstein, together with his inventions, has become the most iconic symbol of unbroken will on our journey exploring the world. Don't stop.